Howdy y'all, I'm Ice Gold, and today I'm going to be showing y'all the best places to get Dreamstone and Dream Water in Wallaroo. Uh, these are very important reagents for farming and, you know, crafting gear, because the new Wallaroo Pity System is much better than Novus. Uh, you just need a little bit of this uh, to my right, and just a, a little bit more Dream Water, and you'll be able to craft all the gear you want as long as you had the badges for it. So, yeah, uh, this, fair warning, you won't get as much Dreamstone as you would, you know, polygons, old one artifacts, that type of thing. But King's Isle's compromise here seemed to be that you only needed a fraction of what you would, of what you used to need in terms of, you know, floor reagents and all that. Uh, so, it's like where, Novus gear required 20 polygons. A lot of the Wallaroo gear requires about only six to eight Dreamstone. And you know, if you collect it, you can get anywhere between one and three. And I was lucky enough to get three just now. So uh, I will go ahead and just switch to an empty realm and then I'll run around and uh, basically just show you the best places to look for it. So as you make your way around the perimeter of Billabong Resort, you should find anywhere between one and three Dreamstone spawns. And, you know, while you're here, you can also get <laughs> Cattail, which is kind of interesting, but you're mainly here for the Dreamstown, so... Yeah, ideally, you find a good few spawns. These Cantrip Ritual Chests that you've now seen three of, uh, <laughs> those can take up the spawn locations, which is kind of unfortunate, but kind of just is what it is. Eventually, you'll be able to find some. And there were actually zero in this realm. How about that? Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Kelvin realm instead. We'll get luckier here, I'm sure. Uh, so... <laughs> yeah, see, already, we found a Dreamstone over here by the tent. So... Yep, and I got two from that. So realistically, as long as you just walk around the perimeter, uh, you should reasonably find at least a couple spawns. It is kind of tedious considering how large Billabong Resort really is, but you know, if you wanted to, you could also check out the Kali Ranch. Uh, it's a much smaller area, but much fewer spawns as a result. But you know, you could try it out. Uh, I don't really have the spawn rates there, but it is smaller at the very least. I just wouldn't expect to get as much as you would if you're running around Billabong Resort. So, but yeah, as you walk around, you will be able to find plenty of Dreamstone. Uh, you'll have to switch realms quite a bit to really rack up a bunch. I only got maybe around 100 to 120 when I was on my ice doing this, and I went through like all six pages of realms doing that, so... <laughs> it is definitely gonna be a much slower farm than, you know, Novus, you know, you're gonna... Catman do and get like a minimum of three spawns for example but here it's like there are realms where you just won't get a spawn at all and that's kind of it's unlucky but you know at, at least it doesn't require nearly as much uh dreamstone to craft the gear um as it did before so lower spawn rates much larger area to walk around but on the bright side uh, you can it, it just doesn't cost as much to make the gear you want to get. So I think that's an okay trade-off. If you get maybe a couple hundred, you should just be set in terms of Dreamstone forever. Like, you will not need any more than maybe 200 Dreamstone uh, for, like, your whole account. So <laughs> it could take a while, but as long as you stick with it and, you know, you keep looking, you keep running around, you keep... Uh, refreshing the the realms and all that you should find plenty and see I was lucky enough to have one spawn right in front of me So you'll have to see that But now I should tell y'all about the best place to find Dream water, which is the more tedious farm out of the two honestly because it's it requires less farmed reagents uh, to craft stuff um, in Wallaroo it used to require, I think, 67 pixels, maybe 67 symphonium, that kind of thing, uh, in Lemuria. But here it requires about 47 uh, dream water. And that would be okay, except that there is not really a super great way to farm uh, for dream water. And, you know, I'll, I'll go into why in a second, so 
let's uh <laughs> let's just head to the best spot to farm that up so as you may have guessed by now the absolute best place to farm for dream water is going to be uh freddy croaker out here in the dreaming uh so you know you'll uh, you'll team up do whatever if you have like a, a dedicated team, you know, you can do first round Scald and Syndiate, that's always nice. But if you're just going in standard, you know, you can set up your deck, do your thing, and wait for the loading screen, I suppose. Uh, and yeah, once you're in, you know, you do your thing, you fight Freddy, and then you beat him, and then Freddy will drop two to three Dream Water per run. And this... <laughs> You're, you're, you're gonna think, you know, that doesn't sound like a lot, uh, <laughs> and it really isn't, but it is still the best out of any of the standard mode fights, and I believe challenge mode should drop 5 to 6, but I'm not too sure on if there's any guides out for challenge mode yet, so if there ever are. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll look into it, I'll see how the cheats look, and then maybe make one myself, but... Until then, farming standard Freddy is probably the best way to go about things. So as soon as Freddy goes down, you will get, you know, as you could maybe see, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll still uh, scroll up and check it out, but let me see, how much did I get? I got, yeah, two dream water from that, but uh, you can receive up to three, which I think is a little... Interesting. Uh, it is still the best place to farm, though. So, just a little something to keep in mind when you are farming here in the world of Wallaroo. But yep, slow as it is uh, <laughs> for the Dreamstone and Dream Water, it is well worth it because the cost is less compared to prior worlds, like I mentioned before. So, you know, if you wanted to craft the ice deck, you know, uh, you would only need actually only 28 dream water and then five dream stones so it's cheaper than i thought which is kind of nice uh depending on the piece you know it'll it'll cost more uh like the amulets will be 38 dream water and seven stone uh, Thames will be 47 water and eight stone uh same with the rings and then you know the pins they'll they'll cost you know 12 dream water 10 to 12 depending on what you're making i think yeah the jewels will cost uh 10 and then the pins will cost 12, so. Dream Water is gonna be a slow farm, <laughs> but it is still worthwhile to do because, you know, it's it's much easier to just farm up the Dream Water than to farm a specific pin. Everybody here knows Nova's farming was like that and we all hated it, so <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that uh, it's not as tedious in Walru as it was in Nova's. That is going to wrap up. I hope you all enjoyed. This is going to be part two out of three, but three will not release until the nightmare drops in January. So, for the time being, thank you all for watching. I've been Ice Cold. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave like 50 comments for the algorithm, and I'll see you all later.